Shana na na na. Shana na na na. Shut up. Shana na na na. Where are we? Shana na na na. Mark, please let hey, let people at least guys. think that this is a serious show. Hey guys, right. between us, when Daniel gets in here, let's just like make fun of him the whole time. Here we go. Okay. I think we should just make fun of him. This this him and his YouTube channel. What do you guys think? They're emailing him now. Should we do it? He'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daniel. What do you think, Daniel? Should we do that? Mark, people are gonna be pissed that Daniel's not even on the show tonight. <laughs> I know. I just use thumbnails of people that I think should should be on the show, and uh -huh. then we just go in and we say, "Oh, there was a problem." Yeah, I think it's the best clickbait. Let people think someone's going to be on a show, and then yep. they're not even on the show. I think so. Is the echo on your side or on mine? Are you are you're echoing? Because I don't hear echo. No, I don't either. What echo? You froze, by the way. Daniel froze? Mm-hmm. On my end. What the fuck? Who's echoing? Daniel, your screen's frozen. Yep. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Da, 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 da. Mark, I swear to God, you're going to be putting time out this early in the show. I will fucking pull my cock out during the show and slap it on the camera lens. Nobody would see it. We wouldn't even get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, are you still echoing? Uh, no. I okay. not. You're good? Yes. All right. Well, why don't we do a little intro action, shall we, Mike? What do you think? Uh, yes, let's do it. Ignition, everyone. Ten minute intro is finished. The vape team is live. One twenty one episode. We are on, and I'll tell you what. It's going to be a fucking awesome show tonight. Mike has been doing push ups and sit ups and crunches, preparing for tonight's fucking clouds. And Mark, yeah, he just woke up from a nap. Daniel's been physically taking care of himself. And uh, by the way, Daniel, hmm. welcome back to the vape team thank you thank you sir it's so awesome to have you here man glad to be back daniel's in a in a studio right now in uh mike vapes basement yep and, he's on the other uh, side yeah <laughs> other side of the wall but daniel. Me, so I'm, I'm introducing daniel for those that don't know daniel dj dj yeah uh d dj LSD. LSD. DJ DJ LS no, DVD no. vapes lsb lsd vapes lsd vapes <laughs> Um, yeah, DJ LSB Vapes. Check him out. There's a link below in the description for this video. You guys can subscribe to his channel. Technical, thoughtful, and fucking awesome videos. Uh, YouTube Vape Reviewer, just like us. So, Daniel, yeah, you, you know him by now already, but he's back on the show. And if you haven't heard of him, well, I feel sorry for you, but check out the link below. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you. Thank Glad you. to be back. Good. Um, the man with the master plan, the iron lung trifecta vape the vape commission the cloud commissioner <laughs> the captain cloud captain clouds captain clouds what's up everybody the cloud commando the cloud tie it the cloud mikey mind. motherfucking vapes the, third the great one. sensation the clientologist 
Mr. Oh, Jared, relax. We're not hating on ambitions. It's here not, we go. It's not, hey, we joke around with each other all the time. Oh, oh people are trying to start something in here. Emails are flying. You used to call me DJ LSB Labs. I called yeah, Daniel exactly. DJ LSB Labs for like two years. Yeah. And nobody complained about that. Hating. I thought it was DVD SB Vapes. I didn't. I, didn't, I have no clue. I mean, shit, my name is LGBTVC. I thought it was DJ STDs. Vapes. Is that what, what it is? No, it's actually LSD. And also, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Mark. <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, can you do me a big favor? No. Can you please sit on this? Uh, <laughs> we're actually going to have an egg off tonight. Oh, we're going to see who can, who can take it the deepest, and we're going to measure it by the brown ring that's created. <laughs> Notice so. Mark won't even show his. It's got a big brown stain on it. <laughs> No, he yo he gave it to Marcus, his son. Yeah, my kid's playing with it Dude. after it's been up my ass. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, this egg smells like duty. <laughs> it smells yummy. Wow. Oh, man. So why don't we, uh, Mark, by the way, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to have you here. First time. Love it. Thank you. First time. Um, why don't we do this? I think we should do a little buffet time. Yeah. It's all you can vape buffet time. And uh, to lead us off tonight, why don't we start off with DJ LSB Labs. Hello, everybody. But based on the, the thumbnail I saw for the show, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Am I here tonight as a Playboy magazine seller or as DJ LSB Vapes <laughs> reviewer? <laughs> You're the one I holding saw, the magazines. I saw the stack of Playboy magazines. Anyway... <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Daniel DJ LSB Vapes, and tonight I'm going to be vaping on the Aura RDA by myself and DG Flavor, of course, goddamn camera, on top of the IPV Eclipse, inside of this one, I have this one, actually, Carnival Celebration, I'm also going to be squonking, yes, using the drone and another Aura on top of it, inside of this one, I'm squonking. Wonking some banana bondage by a dark e-liquid. What the fuck is wrong with my camera tonight? God damn it. <laughs> I'm also vaping on the Dead Rabbit. Yes, the Dead Rabbit RDA by Heathen and Hell, Hell Vape. Yeah, on top of the Inokin Chroma A. And inside some of these really, really good stuff. Another Strawberry Vape by Elite. And some gold... Matchy matchy vape with the OBS Creus RDTA on top of the Sharon, 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 something like that from Smoland. Uh. <laughs> Inside, I have some Camelot Reserve. Hell yeah. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you need a, a, big, a bigger bu- buffet? Well, no, I actually, I'm actually missing one. It's right here. Mm. Shit, there's another egg. That's a little damn it. It's a little bit more your size. Oh yeah, that's not the fucking egg. God damn it. So much trouble they give to us. Mark, why didn't you go for the small one? Those remind me of those contraceptives Ooh. that the girls use that you put them inside of them and they melt. Are they like even... a side or something? You never never seen those before? They're most it's disgusting. No, I'm not really on top of all the female contraceptives out there, Mark. I'm sorry. <laughs> The fuck are you? How do you do froze? It? It's an egg you shove inside of a girl, and once okay. it's melted, then you can actually start and, and stick it in. Hey, well, you go, guys all missed what Daniel did. He opened up everything, and then he pulled out a model with a tank. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Valerian by UL on top of the, the new Laissimo 200 Spider. Yes. Wait a minute. It. So Laissimo has a 200 watt Spider and a four battery? Yes. Device? So they came out with two That's devices. The F4. That's the F4. This one actually looks alike. It looks like one. the Battlestar. Yep. Yep. But the screen looks a little different. The font. Let me see the font. Yeah. The, the screen actually looks pretty good. I like the screen. Yeah. I like it too. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm vaping on. Hmm. Well, Mark, time is yours. I'm really excited to see what you're vaping on tonight. The... Mike, help him out. 
camouflage battle star with the uh, the Velcarin or the Valerian v Valerian Valerian root. On top of that, I got the boxer. What is it? Wait, hold on. The two K seven or which one is it? Two X seven hundred. Two X seven hundred. There we go. Uh, what's on top of here? This is the new. I think it's called the dot RDA. Why is there like a glare of light on my shit? Oh, that's why. Turn that shit. There we go. It's called the bad O ring RDA. You know, my O rings are tight for some weird. No, actually, they're not tight. Never mind. They're not tight. Uh, what else? We got the Armageddon Squonk with the what the fuck is this? The drop RDA. Oh, not the drop. Whoa! Why is the drop in my mind? The D Pro. <laughs> Um, the do 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 the truck and Sub Zero, and of course the got Daniel's RDA on top of this uh, Snow Wolf. I forgot the name. I can't pronounce the name of this thing. Juice Jam Monster Strawberry. I got some Transistor Boo Boo, and then some Vaptasia. Strawberry Killer Custard. Thank you. That's it. Take it away, Mr. Mister Herb. I don't like when you use names on here. <laughs> All right. Take it away. I'm, I'm sorry that you decided that it was appropriate to use your real last name and your channel name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did you use I your thought, social security number and your channel I number? Mike's last name, though. He's going to change his name from the Vapor Chronicles to the Vapor Herb. Yes. The Vapor Herb. The Herb Chronicles. To the vape herb. <laughs> yeah, start vaping herbs. We might. You never know around here. Shit gets crazy. But tonight, what am I vaping on? I am vaping on probably the most. <laughs> it's very femme. I'm going femme. 2000, uh, second half 2017 feminine setup that I've ever vaped. And I've been actually carrying this around with me in public. Uh, this is <laughs> vape for, for me. I'm changing the game. It's sort of like when pink uh, work shirts came into style. I'm going femme. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is the uh, unknown wattage still at this point, but the Funky 160W, and on there is the Valerian, which came in the eggs, which are right here, and I will not be sticking these up my ass. Um, what else am I vaping? In there, I have some delicious Hit That Donut Peephole from HitThatJuice.com. And speaking of that, tonight, we actually have a giveaway, and I'll, I'll talk about that later. It's nice. It's going to be tasty. It's actually a tasty giveaway. Um, what else am I vaping on? The brand new Watofo Flow, the Flow Tank, the sub ohm tank from Watofo. On that's not a good match good right match there, right. Mike. Match is shitty. Uh, the stainless steel tank should have been on there. I know. I got problems. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. Uh, I'm also vaping on the Dead Rabbit, and uh, the Dead Rabbit is on the Archon. This is the uh, Vape Team Special Edition Archon with the Dead Rabbit. I approve of that setup, the way it looks. Thank you, sir. And uh, what else am I vaping on? I'm also vaping on, no surprise, but the Aura RDA from Digiflavor and DJ LSB Vapes. Right there. The Aura on the 2700 Boxer. And I have another Aura here, too, on the 2X100, whatever, 22X700. Yeah, 2X700 Boxer right here with the Aura. And other juice, a little bit of that blueberry something from AdoraEliquid.com. Big ass bottle of that I've been working on. And I think that's pretty much it. Anything else, Brian? I'm talking like Mike. Anything else, Mike? Uh, I think uh, you might have one more you forgot about. Mm, one more, one more, one more. The Mac? Oh, huh? The Mac, right? What mech? Oh, no, what you're holding, actually. This? Yeah. Yeah, this is a cool little thing. It's called the Jilly. The Jilly 1200 Ma PCC, right? And uh, basically what it is, it's, it's a really thin pocket-sized charging station for... The Jewel? The Jewel. Oh, damn. So you got your two cartridges, and you have your Jewel in there. And what happens is there's a little LED screen on there. Check this shit out. It's going to be available at originvape.com. But check this out. So you, you got your two cartridges here, spares, and then you got your device. And then as soon as you put it in there, it tells you at the bottom what percentage you have left. I like that. Damn. Really, like really that. cool for portability and for charging on the go. 
The only thing is, if you don't vape a Juul on a regular basis, it takes a little bit of getting your lungs used to that lung hit that you get from that harsh uh, nicotine that's in there. It's not bad. It's like more like a cigarette type lung feel. Yeah. And it just takes a couple pulls of getting your lungs reassociated with it. But I'm taking this to Miami on the airplane, big time. Hell yeah. Yeah, it'll be perfect. I'll be taking this. <clears throat> yep. My Is that the Wismack one? Yeah. Well, I like this because I can put my own liquid in there so I don't get that nasty throat hit. Is that the MyJet? I haven't vaped this in a while, actually, since the last trip. That's the funny thing. Like when people watch us, they're like, "Oh, they're they're that type of vapor, or they're this type of vapor." Yeah. I like to consider myself in every type of vapor because I love sub ohm tanks. I love starter kits. I love yeah. little devices like this. I love big cloud RDAs. I like tight airflow RDAs. I like RTAs. I like even RBAs. I'm a huge fan of the billet box. Uh, the only thing I really don't like is some of those, and not even because they're not good, but they're just too finicky like uh you know those real expensive single coil k funish style tanks that you see over in europe mm -hmm. i just find it so hard because they're just tough man they're tough tough you mean really tight the draw? Or... yeah the draw is tight and they're also like since i use max vg a lot of them like are better off with less vg yeah so i gotta get new juice for them and then Mike, what are you vaping on this evening what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Mark, are you upset because we actually have something to talk about? Well, Mike needs to do his buffet and then wait, 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 we can start Mark, talking. Mark, this isn't like your show where, well, we have nothing to talk about tonight. <laughs> no topic. Okay. Look, at, talk. look at Brian's face. <laughs> I'm going in timeout. I can feel it. <laughs> You're definitely going in timeout. I'm about to. Uh, wh wow. No, you know what? I think I'll turn my camera off and let you run the show. All right. Let's, <laughs> all right. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, Mike. So go ahead. Time is yours. There we All go. right. Before I get into my buffet, shout out to the vaping Bogan. Sam, he's in the chat. Shout nice. He's that. in chat. Yep, the Bogan. Dude, Bogan. the Bogan did uh, one of the most funniest things I've ever okay. seen. It was uh, was reviewing that Michael device. Yep. Oh, God. And, uh, George had, Michael song? Yeah, he had the George RDA. He's like, it's the George Michael mod. Then the music came on. He was in there vaping. Dude, I fucking fell down laughing. I'm like, this motherfucker is a genius. Yeah, Best and I repeated thing ever. That was the I, and I know that's how uh, that inspired Daniel to do his video from that. Yeah, I repeated that part like 10, 15 times. It was so genius. And then that's actually what I, what inspired me to do my vape song. Yeah, <laughs> but that was awesome. Good shit there, Bogan. Really it awesome. Yep. Yes. All right, buffet time. Uh, vaping on the Reload RTA on the Smoant. Haran 218. In there, I am vaping on some of this stuff here. Some drip, which I wish they had 120s when I got this. But I am almost done with this bottle here. Some drip, which delicious stuff. Vaping on that. Uh, vaping on the Smoke Pro Color. And on top of it, I got the Asmodis Voluna RTA. In there, I got some Country Clouds Cornbread Pudding. I'm also vaping on the the Boxer 2X700 D Pro RDA. In here, I have some Dem Thangs. Some Dem Thangs. Wild Thang. Vaping on that. Uh, what else are we vaping on? Rainbow Alien with this Aura RDA that keeps on burning my lips at 30 watts. I don't know why it does that. Anyway. Yes, the Aura RDA. It's made by DJ LBS Vapes. Yes, vaping on that. The other guy makes it. Oh, is that one made by the other guy? And yeah, uh, that, in that there, I am vaping on some country... I'm also vaping on... I'm dripping it in there. Some cornbread pudding. No, no, I'm sorry. That's not cornbread pudding. That's pudding pounder. That's what I got in there. Oh, I almost messed up that one. I kind of did mess it up, but anyway. Also vaping on a new device. Just came in today. Boxer Squonker. DNA 75C. Shut up. Uses the 2700 or 21700. So this is basically a, a 2X700 DNA 75C. Got the Icon RD on there. What? Yeah. And in here I am vaping on some 
Coil spell. R K O I. Just don't I need to. Is, I need to interrupt. Uh, relax, Brian. Relax. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it in a bit. Okay, good. Uh, what else am I vaping on? Uh, that's it. Also, I want to give a shout out to a Facebook group since I got the mic. Yeah, baby. I should have had it ready, but I don't have it ready. Let me pull up the Facebook group name. If I could find it quickly, Mike, you could do it fast. Take your time. The only thing that'll happen is Mark will fucking flip out <laughs> if it doesn't meet his expectation of how oh, things should be going. It goes all the way on top. So anyway, <laughs> the Facebook group for this, before I tell you guys the Facebook group, let me show it to you guys. Check out this build stand that I got. Is that Stand. wood? Yeah, stabilized wood build stand. Oh, wow. Those are nice. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. Tomorrow's review, you'll be seeing this in the up and close. Shut up. You see it? Yep, and this came from a Facebook group called JMA Designs Custom Vape Stands. The link will be in the description for my review tomorrow for the... What's it called again, the RDA? Shit. My mind is all fucked up. Bolt. The Bolt RDA. So, yeah, shout out to JMA. That's it. Take it away, Brian. Now, Brian, you could tell your story. Now that buffets are done... It's just, uh, take it away. Uh, you know, I, I seem to forget the meeting where we sat down and said that we can't interrupt buffets or we can't have anything off different than the week before. Oh, but you interrupted Mike. Just of course saying. I did. Just saying. See? <laughs> Mike doesn't like that either, but I he knows, he knew I was going to do it. He knew it. Because we actually, we have a lot to talk about tonight. But I think before we get sidetracked... We need a really quick uppy closey time with the brand new boxer with the DNA seventy five. I agree with that. Is that possible? I need to make a correction in chat. Kimmy, I did not say dual. It's a single, not a dual. Okay, go ahead. Is it possible? <laughs> is it possible, Mike? Is it possible? Is it? What is possible? And a peek closey on that box. And Mark, I'm going to need you to stay involved oh, the whole show to tonight. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was asking you about something being possible. No, Brian asked you for an peek closey on the boxer, which I'm interested. Thank you, Daniel. Do you have my PayPal account? <laughs> <laughs> right. Here's the peek closey I'll do. I just want to see the insides of it. I want to see. The oh, I, I can't show the insides yet. Uh, I, I can kind of show it quickly. There you go. Screenshot. Screenshot. <gasps> but yeah. It still looks small. Yeah. Uh, side by side with the 2700 mech squad. Impressive. Oh. Obviously, it's this part here. Remember, the, you got the board. Yeah. Here. So. But height wise, same height. Pretty much Not the same. Bad. Is it the same? Let me see. It's like a slight, Just slight a nail. Small, very yeah. little. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. How's the fire? Impressive. How does the firing button feel? Same as the other boxers. You hear it? Mm-hmm. Nice clicky sound. So it's pressing uh, directly on the board. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. They're going to be available soon at gingervapor.com. I think next month. Next month. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the device is that it only does seventy-five watts. But yeah. you have to actually. This is where you have to do yeah. different builds in here. Yeah. I would suggest something like maybe like a 0.3 build, the 0.5 somewhere in there, you know, you're doing that and you'll be fine with the wattage. Which is still pretty good if you have the ability to use 2700s and 21700s. Yeah. Even with a single battery, you, still, you are still going to get an amazing battery life anyway. So if you yeah. don't need more than 75 watts, that's pretty fucking amazing. Yeah. There's a, there's a little bit of a delay with uh, Daniel's audio and his video. Is there? It is. That is. I'm seeing a One. little bit of a delay. Test. No, it looks fine. Delay. It's fine. I uh, think there's a delay with you. There might be a delay with me. Another thing that's good about it is if you do uh if you got single coil RDAs, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Then you're gonna you don't have it's gonna be awesome. Battery life, single coil, squonking. Yeah. yeah. Uh Daniel, from your experience testing all these different devices with all the mm -hmm. charts and graphs, what, what do you feel is the safest, best, 
most amount of wattage you're going to get from a single 18650 battery? It depends on the battery we're talking about. Um, if it comes down to a 21700, which I believe to be a 35 amp battery, uh, that's 30, a better fit, isn't it? 30 amp. 30 amp, but more capacity. Yeah. 30 amp, you can easily, with a regulated device, you can you can easily and save, safely achieve 100, around 100 watts. But it doesn't really mean that you are going to get the 100 watts during the discharge, across the discharge of the battery. Eventually, it is going to drop down. Um, it also depends on the buck and boost circuitry and the way they design it. But even with a 30 amp battery, you can easily get 100. You can easily get 120 but that's that that's not going to be no. safe to do and also you are going to feel the, the the power dropping a lot faster than if you would do it just a 100 watts device even with an even with a single 18650 battery you can achieve 100 watts but it's like for the first four or five poles then not getting any more Mooch just said, uh, battery Mooch just said best, safest, and most are all different batteries. <laughs> yeah. That's why I gave the example exactly. of 30, 30 amps. Yeah. Huh. Um, no, yeah, with the uh, 25 amp battery, n not more than 70, 80 watts. The 21700 slow going to be 40 amp batteries. Oh. Yeah, you're going to be able to vape safely with that, which I use the term loosely. But uh, your battery not getting hot, whatever. If you like max, yeah. point uh, zero seven if you want, and you know, getting forty amps off that. Wait, forty amps from the twenty one seven hundred. Forty amps, yeah, man. With with forty amps, you can easily get one hundred and forty watts. Yeah, so that's gonna be the battery when it comes out. That's gonna I mean, be. Don't get me wrong, these. 2700s are awesome. That's what I like what Boxer is doing. They're making it compatible to use both batteries. Yeah. So that's what's great about these. It's future proof. I think, yeah. I think that's the smartest thing to do, especially yeah. considering the fact that both aren't that different. It's just a no. little bit of difference. So yeah. you may as well just account for the 21700. It's got a little bit more girth to it. Yep. More girth. Yeah. yeah. Girth. They like it. Speaking of girth, <laughs> and somebody that loves girth, Mark. You still liking that girth? I love it. <laughs> I've been loving it. The photo got pulled from Instagram. I don't know if who reported it or if you all reported it. You all didn't mind the photo. They actually messaged me and they liked it. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. Oh, my God. I got to be honest with you. They can have that photo at all the vape events now. <laughs> what are you going to possibly do with that big fucking egg anyways? What use? I mean, what could you possibly use it for other than sitting on it? I don't think anyone mm. at UL thought that a human being would sit on that egg. I just I don't think that that was part of their marketing strategy. Naked. There's nothing else you could do with it. Yes. And, and I must say, there's a couple things. There's not much that you do, Mark, that really surprises me anymore. I mean... You've done everything possible. You've said everything that I could only imagine someone would possibly say. And when I opened up my feed and I saw that picture, I literally had like my heart fluttered and I felt dizzy. Like I, <laughs> I got to give you, I got to give you all the credit in the world for the big balls you have to and big ass too. To do that. And I also have to question Angela for taking the pictures for you and accepting that you would be doing that. I like to know what your wife was saying. She was thinking about what she was thinking, but was she saying deeper, Mark? She's like, can you go a little bit deeper? Can you sit on it a little bit more? And I think the tip of the egg was actually touching my hole. <laughs> oh, oh. There's a lot of people in the chat that don't know what the hell we're talking about. You have to be on uh, Mark, uh, the Vape and Fagan Lounge. Mark, do you have, do you have a picture? His, uh, can yeah. we show that here? Can we show that here? Yeah, no oh, yeah. We can quickly show it. Yeah. I'll just show it on my phone. Is There's no quickie? bubble or anything. Just a quickie. It was on the vape team. I think. <laughs> I... Put on the vape team Facebook group too? Yeah, it's on the vape team. Yeah. That's where you'll see it. It also looks like you've been doing some Brazilian bun workouts because like, your squat capability is pretty impressive. You were very flexible in that. Like You've actually ridden some cock before. All right, there we go. 
There we go. <laughs> Damn. That's the unedited one right there. <laughs> Uh, that can't be unseen. <laughs> Where is the best place to buy batteries? IMRbatteries.com. Actually, uh, oh, what's that other site? They have a, a sale on VTC 5As today. Helium or no. Illumin? Illumin, there you go. They're like $5.25 or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's where I get all mine from, Illumin. They come with a uh, container. But if you are in Europe, Amcon. Yeah. I got mine from IMR, and they came with containers, too. Yeah. Yep. I would price shop. Look at IMR and Illumin and see what the deals of the day are and what shipping costs are. But they're both reputable. Nice. I'll play. I bought six of them because uh, I thought I had some in my stash, but I ended up not having, so I actually regretted it. So, actually, uh, when does that sale end? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to go out. Uh, Timmy and everybody else were buying them today because uh, Timmer has made a comment. All right. I'll probably go on there and buy like six more batteries. I'm sorry, I gotta stop the show. Amy just texted me. She said, "Unblock me from chat. I want to say hi to Mark." So I guess my <laughs> wife is blocked from chat. So we'll somebody, I have no idea. Probably great hey, paycheck. By the way, I want to send a message to your wife. I noticed that she sent me a message on Facebook, and I wasn't able to read it yet. But I will read it after the show, and I will get back to her. Mm, I gotta show something to Amy. Hold oh, on. here we go. Daniel, would you like to show something to Amy? <laughs> I was actually answering answering she's message on Facebook too. Oh, good. What nice. <laughs> Hold up, I want to show something to Amy. There it is. Oh man. <laughs> That's probably missing on her collection. Yep. <laughs> there you go, hon. We're gonna have Mike Vapes cups all over our house. You you've opened up a can of worms, Mike, because she's gonna want like fifty of them to make like a Mike Vapes fucking cup tree. And the new t shirts? Yeah. Give on nice. I like it. I bought her like six female versions of uh, TVC attire and elite attire. Never mm -hmm. wears it. Yeah. Nothing but the best for me. So anyway, the real reason why we're here, besides the fact that Daniel's an awesome guy and we love him, uh, we want to talk about the Aura. The Aura RDA launched officially this week, right? Yes. So, the Aura RDA, first of all, it's it's a... I don't know how to explain, but it is, it is a project of mine that started a while ago. And it, it started... This project started mainly because of my passion for bottom airflow RDAs. I, I tend to prefer bottom bottom style RDAs like the Kennedy, the, the Tsunami from Geekvibe, bottom style bottom airflow RDA, RDAs because I, I always feel like I get the best flavor from those. Even though the RDAs we top inside airflow these days, they have been pretty good as well. So... Uh, I'm, I may be wrong in a couple of days <laughs> with the, the RDAs with side and top airflow becoming better and better. But it, it, it started or it, it was made due to my passion or due to my liking or due to my love um, on, on bottom airflow RDAs, but also because of my complaints. I wanted to do something with bottom airflow, but high enough to void leaking because that that's always a common problem a common issue on bottom airflow rda is a huge issue actually so i wanted to do something with bottom airflow giving you that experience but with a lot of flexibility giving you a lot of options as well that's why i included the side airflow top cap and i'm glad mark is doing that that's actually pretty good <laughs> uh so what I, what i did was i did mainly a bottom airflow rda with the airflow coming high enough to avoid leaking and also drilling the airflow channels in an angle to hit the coils diagonally instead of having them just facing up. Because I feel like on, even on RTAs that we have been seeing with, with side airflow blocks or side airflow channels just pointing up, sometimes you feel like you're wasting airflow or sometimes you feel, you feel like the, the flavor could be better. If the, if the channels were actually drilled diagonally. So that's what I did. And I also wanted to do something with the posts designed in a way that makes it really simple to assemble or to build your coils. With beefy screws, because 
uh, I'm always pissed when I screw, when I strip screws or when I review something and then someone comments, oh, pretty good, but I use it every day and I strip my screws. So I, I wanted to do something with really beefy and big posts, posts that, that make sense for you to build your coils, but also with really beefy screws. So, so, so you don't strip the screws and you actually get a pretty good torque while you're clamping your coils down. And the cap was also, the, the, the cap was, the, the main idea on the cap, um, especially talking about the, the, the top, the inside or the inner part of the top cap, the top, top cap, uh, I, I did it in a way that I was able to bring that domed section as low as possible so, so it, it could be closer to the coils. And even the lines on the bottom, on the bottom cap, because there's two caps, even those lines have... <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? What the hell are we looking at? I don't know. What the fuck is that? It looks like a height-challenged fucking cowboy, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> So even the cap, I came up with those lines, those engravings to give you better grip. But it also looks sleek, I guess, with the, with those engravings that that look. Uh, it, it is, it is something that it was designed for the way I like, or or for what I like, or for what I want from an RDA, but also giving you a lot of options and a lot of possibilities for you to tinker with it and play with different coils, different placements. A different placement from from for the the side airflow different placement of your coils for the bottom airflow you can use bottom and top but if you close the bottom in half you should not use the top you can use only the top or only the bottom i wanted to give lots of options in a, an rda that i i feel to be pretty decent at, at this point otherwise i wouldn't release it i said that many times uh, if anybody watching the show wants to pick up one, is there any place that has them in stock that you would recommend for somebody to get them from? Maybe you can put a link in chat or something? Uh, anybody specifically has it in stock, but I know that in the US, the first ones having it in stock are going to be My V Pro and Origin Vape. Those are the first ones. Uh, but even Vapor DNA, they will get it pretty soon as well. Uh, in Europe, I'm not quite sure yet. In China, Heavens Gifts, Elego Mall, and especially Everzone, because I think Everzone is actually the main distributor for Geek Vape and DG Flavor. So, do you have a release date when it's going to be available in the stores? Uh, it is going to reach the stores between the 15th and the 20th of this month. All right. The first batch is already fully manufactured and being organized and, and put into boxes, the new boxes that also arrived. Even the box, the box was designed and it, it was 100% my idea. The box is pretty. Did pretty you get the retail too. version of the box yet? Hmm. Did you get? You have it on hand? No, 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 not even myself. I only have the sample ones. But the picture they have on their website, uh, if you see, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, that's actually the the retail box. How it is gonna look like? Pretty nice. beautiful too. Yeah. I, I find myself enjoying the RDA <clears throat> the most when I have it in like a restricted lung hip position. This, yeah. The side airflow wide open is actually like a really nice resistance that you can get really good flavor. And, uh, yeah. and it's great. I have actually pretty big coils. I'll take my cap off and show you. And it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, yeah, you guys know this by now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this blur focus. that you see here, you can notice that my coils are nice and big. And <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. That's it, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, Mark, <laughs> QVC Network, you have a future, my friend. Your hand movements, your transitions, the slow movement of your fingers. Yeah. Very sexy, very subtle. I love it. You're on top of things, Mark. That was actually pretty, pretty well done. Yep. As I was speaking about the RDA. Yep. He's and muted. You got a $100 donation from uh, Jay Hayes. Wow. Oh, holy shit, I've been talking that whole time. <laughs> you muted? Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was saying thank you to Jay Hayes, and I'm, I told him if he wants to buy my friendship, he can easily buy it. Wow. <laughs> I'm for sale. Just so everyone knows, I am for sale. Thank you. Yeah. I, 
I, I guess we'll bring this up because it was intentional. I mean, the hundred hours. I don't know what it's for. There was unless there's a note or something attached to it. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'd be happy to pay value the money back. Uh, but uh, yeah. if I could say anything that this community needs right now is it needs unity and it needs respect. I think we all can have differences of opinion about products, but that doesn't character assassinate one another as people. And uh, I, I just feel like we have enough stress and, and issues to worry about with our own families, with our own channels, with our own you know, relationships that we shouldn't really focus on breaking each other down uh, because of, you know, whatever reason. Everyone's got a reason. Everybody has insecurities. Everybody has finger pointing capability and, and all that kind of stuff. So, Mark, show your tits. Daniel, show your dick. Mike, no, let's whack, no. and we're going to move on from this. And, and let this fucking drama end. I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. Yeah. I've always been tired of it. And, and, and the, the, the reason why I said on my, on my Aura RDA presentation video that I was going to link every single review on the Aura RDA, no matter if they are bad, no matter if they are good, no matter if they have lots of pros, no matter if they have lots of cons, because that's my way of, of, of telling people once again that I do appreciate and that's what I value the most on the community is the difference of opinions and that's why no matter what no matter if people give me bad reviews on the RRDA no matter if they are good all the reviews are going to be linked on my video and shared on my website that's how much I value the difference of opinions yeah I wasn't saying that he wasn't being nice at all but if you don't have a note or anything like that I don't know what to take that as but thank you I said also, I'd love to take you out for a fucking dinner or something like that with that hundred dollars. Whatever, you know, if you hang out with us one time, whatever. Can you use candles? Sure, fuck yeah. Maybe uh, candlelight dinner in your in your boxers by the fire. Yeah. Holding hands. Touching helmets. Helmet to helmet. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Stop reading chat, Brian. I'm done reading chat. Dude, it, it, it kind of <laughs> hit me from the side a little bit. You can't so, focus when you read chat. I can't do two things at once. I've watched a replay from your show last week. It's so fucking funny because I'll sit there like frozen like this. Did he just give $200? Yes, the... he did. Holy shit. I appreciate it. This month, this month you are actually being paid way more than YouTube pays you. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt about it. That is really nice. Ooh. He bought my friendship. That's a lot of love. Yep. We're good friends now. Really good friends. Yeah. Close. <laughs> so I also want to thank Brian for the amazing review. It is really thorough. I'm not saying the others aren't, but I, I was really, really impressed. Oh, you did with... your video today, Brian? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's easy to do a thorough <laughs> and detailed review when you do one a month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I concur. But yeah, I... uh, it's interesting. You know, things do change over time. And, and I think Daniel's RDA is one of those that after a couple of days, and, and I talked to Mike, I talked to Mark, I hung out in the room and talked to Daniel. And, and I think it's one of those RDAs that you sort of have to give it some time and do different builds on it and try it in different ways. I swear to you, the first day that I had it, I had the airflow wide open on the sides and wide open on the bottom. And there was this like fluctuation of air pressure and you could feel it going like a, like a, brrr. <laughs> but, but now you have a point there. Yep. I do. But guess what, Mike, during my video, I opened the side and the top with a different coil and it was, it wasn't non-existent. Because you played with the placement of your because coils. Because I played with the placement of the coils. So yeah. because of that big center post that you have, the big beefy center post, and the way the air is angled from the bottom, the way this the, the airflow reflects off of the coils makes such a difference in how the flow yeah. of air is in that RDA. And also the amount of spacement between the posts and the coils has to be decent, not only for the airflow to be smooth or smoother, but also for you to drip safely and the liquid being able to go down. Yeah, that's that's why I said every reviewer, take your time, play with it, and if you feel like doing a review, just be honest about it, but make sure you play with it, and because you, you got to tinker. I, it's like, I don't know, it, it may be my image in, in an RDA, because I like to tinker with things. So I wanted to give 
lots of options, but it ended up being an RDA that you do need to tinker with it and find your perfect way. But as you did, the setup you did on your review is actually the setup I have and the same airflow option I use and the flavor is just... I use mine like this. I got the bottom fully open and then the side just a little bit. But, but Mike, you have iron lungs. Yeah, that's the way I like to it. <laughs> now, if I have it fully open, the way I have it set up, it gets a little... Let me see. It. I'm trying to remember. How. Does it get loud? Because I've changed. I've put so many builds. Actually, no. It's not as loud as it was the first time I built it. Yeah. It was very loud. And I had both air flows open. But then you have to adjust the coils. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had it set up where I had it dropped down to the bottom airflow, but then the side airflow was almost on top of the coil. Yeah. And that was like, okay, this ain't going to work that way. You know? So then I did another build and I, actually I raised the coils up on it and I found the proper, then I took those coils out and I threw the ones that you provide in there. On the pack. On the pack. Yeah. These are very flimsy coils. They, they, they came very flimsy on the sample especially, but I already, well, I already fight it with them. You yeah, gotta do not. those coils better. And he said those were in, made in a rush because you gave us measurements and dimensions that we didn't have tools to mass produce those. Yeah, those the so. coils I you provided I do not like at all. They're like yeah. uh, I I went and, and that's another interesting story. I went I went through because I wanted to give the best experience out of the box, even though I don't provide cotton or liquid or juice. But I went through like probably 20 different sets of coils, different sizes, Clapton's, Aliens, and so on, to find the the best, the, the more well-balanced coil for that, for this RDA to be included. And then I told them, I want you guys to include this coil made of stainless steel, 316L stainless steel, and here are the specs. And he literally said to me, we don't make that coil, that's impossible. And I said, make it possible, because that's the coil I want. Yeah. So on the samples, they did those coils kind of in a rush but now i think for for the mass produced ones that they may also be selling in boxes like those i guess mm -hmm. you know, that they are making them they are supposed to be perfect i hope so the only thing i find it difficult for people is going to be that people that buy the rda that uh, have no experience or minimal experience they're going to place their coils in there and they're going to get like the yeah. airflow effect. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah. that happening a lot. I mean, that happened also with my RDA. Yeah. Uh, people were dropping the coils below the airflow. Yeah, and people were saying it whistles. Remember? It whistles. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, you don't have it right. You're supposed to put it right where the airflow comes in. It's You're supposed to have your coils elevated, almost like to the top of the build deck. Yeah. But uh, you need to mess around with this. This is one of those RDAs that it's not to re review mm -hmm. right away. You got to mess yeah. around with different builds and figure out the right build in here. That's why I said, I, I told the reviewers, take your time. There's no rush. Don't worry. Take your time. And if you feel like reviewing it, just review it and be honest, be unbiased and throw your opinions out there. But spend your time with it. Yep. Yeah, I think I, I don't even remember what date I had. I think I've had it for over a week now. So. Yeah, over a week. Yeah. Um, As far as the the look of it i think it's beautiful man I, I i i love the bottom the way that the lines go over the airflow bump i think it just adds like a it, it looks futuristic but also classy yeah the aura i think that that the um, the type the font used came out pretty it kind of reminds me of the engine lines from the obs engine do i have an oh. engine around here somewhere you kind of have a point you know, and I don't think it's the regular engine. I think it's uh, one of the other ones, maybe like the sub ohm one or the yeah, because that's the regular engine. Yeah, it's one of the engines, the single coil one. I can't remember which one. It kind of reminds me of that with the lines. You kind of have a point. Yeah, you know? which I think looks pretty cool. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh, no, shit. actually, the Creus. That's what it is, the Creus. The oh, fucking I... Creus. Yes, I knew wow. I seen it before. Oh I shit! It's right. the opposite, but yeah, I have. Yeah. I think I got the Chris right here somewhere. Where because are you? when you said I had like a flashback, 
Bam. <laughs> yeah. I got the Korea somewhere here. But anyway, that's where I'm looking at. I'm like, it reminds me of something from OBS. I thought it was one of the engines. Oh, yeah, the Krius. No, I kind of wish I have done four lines or just two, just to be different. Yeah, yeah that's all right, man. It's just fucking lines. <laughs> and I think it looks good. It does. It takes away from it being uh, boring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It gives it a nice, nice look to it. Even though it is also a funny story, the reason why I came with those lines. The main reason why I came up with those lines was to not only give you grip upwards to remove the cap, Mm -hmm. But the side ones, the ones diag in diagonally, to give you grip to adjust the airflow on the cap. Right. That was the main purpose of doing those lines. To be functional. So let's talk about the bottom, the Ultim. Right. Where did that start? Processing, decision making. Uh, it seems like that's going to be one of those things that's going to be a love it or hate it for people. Yeah. Uh, the, the bottom disc became from the ne the necessity the main reason why we came with the disc was because of the necessity of making it look better from the bottom because the way the channels were drilled is very tricky and the drill going in from the bottom is going was give it was well the the base the bottom was coming with that huge opening you see if you unscrew the disc so the disc became from became from the the or the reason for the disc was to cover up the mess basically and to make it look better but it also ended up being a good decision because especially made of being made of altum is going to reduce the heat transmission to your device to your mod so it came up being a good decision i guess uh, now the reason why we went and i tested both uh, I tested Delring and then I tested Altum. The reason why I went with Altum instead of Delring, even though on the stainless steel look-wise is probably not the, the best matchy-matchy, was because me just doing my own test, screwing and unscrewing over again and over-screwing, I was able to strip Delring. Uh -huh. And I wasn't able to strip Altum. So that's the reason why I told DG Flavor or Geek Vape, no, just... So the remove the ring out of the equation. Is it possible to color Ultim? I don't know yet at this point. Actually, yeah, I think they make like black Ultim. Do they? Ultim, yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, what Geekweb told me when I asked them that, they told me that may be more expensive to do on Ultim. Yeah. That's what they told me. And I, I wanted to keep <laughs> the price really low. Yeah. That was one of my main objectives as well, one of my main missions. That's one of the things that's always challenging, like picking what are the most important things you want included for the best value, yeah. but also keeping the product more affordable for people. Yeah. I think people are tired of paying $65 or $80 for RDAs. I think that, you know, plus us enthusiasts, we like change. We like to try new things. We right. like to, you know, it, that's part of the draw of why I like to keep following vape stuff is because right. it's always evolving. It's always changing. There's always different things. Yep. So it's really neat. Uh, yeah. How about the tool? Let's talk about that tool for a minute, because that thing is one... You could use that as a Did weapon to throw at people. <laughs> I mean, it's got some weight to it, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got a, a question about the tool, too. But, uh, These? Yeah, basically... Yeah. Is that your design? It was... Put it this way. my The design for the tool was one of my roughest designs. Now, I designed it pretty much everything especially the RDA, and then everything around it, the lines, the box, everything. This one was just a pretty rough drawing I did to them, and they worked around my drawing. I told them I wanted to be hexagonal. I wanted to be a really big and beefy Phillips head screw to match perfectly the, the big and beefy screws we were including. And I, I also wanted the tool to have a hole on the other end to be hooked up to a, a keychain. Uh, because then, it seems like they sold, they're using your idea now in China for other stuff. Yes, and also they ended up skipping the line and in, in releasing another RDA prior to mine that they also included the tool I asked them to be mine. I have it yes, right here. There, there you go. Yeah. This just came in yesterday. I got these. And uh, yeah, look. Yep. There's only one thing that they missed from what I asked on that tool. It says on it, anarchist. Yeah. Mm. 
I, I told you the other... Thing. Yeah. Go ahead, Dan. No, I was, I was going to say, there's only one thing they missed from my rough drawings, because I wanted... I, I did some pretty rough drawings on the kind of tool I wanted to, to have, and they did the rest. So it's not 100% mine, but still kind of my idea, still. Uh, there's only one thing that they failed. I asked this this side of the tool to be a little bit slimmer to be used as a, a flathead screwdriver as well. And they failed That's that. funny that you say that because I actually took it and tried. And I was like, oh, they that would have been that. awesome if it was yep. a flathead on that side. They failed that. Yeah. So not a 100% not mine. It was used on another RDA and it's probably going to be used on thousands of other RDAs or RTAs. But it's a nice tool. It's big yeah. and beefy. Real nice. I love the screws on it. The, I don't see people complaining about yeah. stripping their screws. No mm -hmm. fucking way. You got to be a Rambo. Yeah, break those screws. <laughs> Maybe if you use like a power drill and you put it on the maximum torque settings, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the only way. Yeah. <laughs> power drills. Yeah, I use I power drill my fucking coils into place. You know, I'm real about <laughs> but then my you shit. Are just, but then at this point, you are assembling coils or some suspension from exactly. a truck. You do construction <laughs> with us? Yeah, I screw my build deck into my fence when I do builds. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, if you guys are interested in picking up the Aura RDA, there I'll put a link below the video on the replay, so if anybody that's watching the show can click it and you can find it and get one for yourself. Uh, also, I'll have somebody, maybe Greg Paycheck, can put a link in chat right now. Or even better, one. even better, you guys after the show should go to Brian's channel and watch the review because I'm pretty sure he already has the links on the description. Exactly. I have a link in uh, my review video that I did earlier today. So there you go. Um, we have giveaways. We right? have giveaways. We do have giveaways. Ooh. So it's that time once again. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Give it back that? to you. Is that a sign? Pardon me? Mark's I'm, busy doing uh, other stuff right now. He's filming. No, I'm, just, I'm doing. Are you doing a live feed? Eggs again? He's filming was, something close for his other. I was shooting a review. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Mark's on Facebook doing live stuff right yeah. now. Uh, Our last week's show, right? Our last week's episode? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to have Mark head on over to last week's show, and he's going to pick a winner. Now, last week's show, we were giving away this, which is Blue Pucker. This is uh, Sugar Lips which is Tony B, Tony Britton's new juice line. And uh, we should have it hopefully next, or not next week, because we will not be having a show next week. But uh, the week after, we should be having that on the show, because it's been sent to us. Mm -hmm. So that was the giveaway. So, Mark, if you could please pick the winner for Blue Pucker. I will do that in a second. I am doing it as we speak. Uh, Are you pulling a seed? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm slow tonight. I'm slow. Sugar lips. Sugar lips. It's okay. I'm just responding to Amy because she's asking me non-show related questions during the show. Watching oh, the show. All right. Here we go. The winner from the last. Did they have to say anything? Yes, they did. Okay. Let's see if they said read, so. First, before you say their name, read their comments. Yes. Okay. All right, so the winner might be, let's see. I think this is what you're supposed to, yeah, this is it. Uh, Michael Labit, Labit, L-A-B-I-T. He says, Tony B makes my asshole pucker with his sugar lips. That was the, <laughs> that was the comment. Beautiful. Uh, Congratulations, Michael Labit, Libit, Labit. So Michael Labit, Libit. Uh, contact me, The Vapor Chronicles, on Facebook. Uh, send me an, a direct message with your name, your address, and also your email address. And I need a picture of your photo ID. You need to be a legal vaping agent in the United States. And I'll have, uh, I think that was 200 milliliters, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll have to yeah, check. It two was bottles. two. Two bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Brad from bradsvapor.com will send it out to you. And if you want to try tony's blue pucker from sugar lips you can head on over to bradsvapor.com and pick up your own because i'm sure it's delicious sugar lips sugar lips i love sugar lips by the way what's this man. week anything this week yes we do we do the giving keeps giving from brad's vapor and this week we're going to be giving away some country clouds look at this country clouds premium e-liquids this is a banana bread pudding 
cornbread pudding, and chocolate pudding. Mm. My favorite of those three is cornbread pudding, but all three, you get three bottles. That's going to be the giveaway. Nice. So, yeah. um, We're trying to think what we should say. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It just got silent in here. Thanks for giving me your pudding, Brad. Hey. Thanks for Thank giving you. me your pudding, Brad. Or how about this? No, 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 no. Wait, I always fuck up. How about give me your pudding, Brad? <laughs> there you go. Give me, because not thanks, because he didn't give it to him. Yeah. But he might give it to you. Yep. So there you go. Bradspaper.com. Country Clouds, all three next week. Actually, no, it's going to be a two week wait, because next yeah. week. We're going to be in Miami, uh, Mike and I, and Mark hopefully will be coming on Friday. Daniel's actually going to be at ECC in California in two weeks, traveling to the U.S. from Portugal, where Daniel resides. Mm-hmm. So lots that's of traveling. Hell. Lots of traveling. Mark might travel to get the mail. Yeah, that's where I'll be traveling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is a big step for him. It is, yep. really. Yep. And, uh, yeah, Daniel, thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me on. We love having you. I love you guys. Love having you with us, man. Fucking love it. I love you guys. What the hell is Mark doing? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Anything to announce? Anybody have any announcements? Anything they want to bring up? Any corrections, curse words, comments? Um, I think I'm good. Nope. Not really. No? Mm-hmm. Mark? Make sure you... Make sure to get your pets spayed and neutered. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Well, with that said, guys. Actually, see, I have one thing to say. Shout out to Jay Hayes. Thanks for the donation, brother. Right. There you yeah. go. Much love. And shout out to Jay Hayes. Shout out to Jay Hayes. And you didn't have to pay us to make it right, though, but I appreciate it. It was really a nice gesture. So that's it. All right, guys. Much love. Two weeks. We will not be here next week. But, but if you join the Vape Team Facebook group, the vape team private facebook group i guarantee you we're going to be live streaming all weekend long from miami having a great time and we'll be sharing all that adventure with you guys and i plan on recording a great vlog of the trip so that'll be coming up on the vapor chronicles channel very soon you guys know how i do fucking vlogs the best i don't play i'm a vlog motherfucker so Uh, uh, i might be sneaking into mike's room that's all i'm saying (laughs) much love everybody Get some of that great thing. 30 minute outro begins now. I'm bringing this with me. (laughs) Hold on. Go ahead, Mike. Time is yours. Go ahead. (laughs) Daniel. (laughs) Bye, everybody. Bye. Time out, Mark. Kiss. Yes. Michael M. Croat got it correct. The price is right. is such a pretty little vapor pretty little vapor yes playing with the eggs thanks for coming on daniel thank you thank you